All right, for this video, we're going to talk about unit conversion. A lot of times, as an engineer in engineering class, we have to convert from one unit to another, whether it's from one metric unit to another metric unit, from metric to English, or from one English to another. Either way, it's converting from one thing to another. The big thing you have to know is something called a conversion factor. It's just an equality. So a simple one might be that in one foot, there are 12 inches. That is a conversion factor or an equality that we can create a conversion factor for. You can get these kind of things like on our formula sheet or from the internet or a lot of different places. You can see a bunch of different equalities that we might have. So if we're looking at length, right, one meter is 3.28 feet. So we're going from metric into English units. Um, and here, one yard is three feet. So we could be staying within the English units. Okay, and it's very simple. All we're going to do, if we take this and we put one foot over 12 inches, that's the same as saying one, because those two are equal to each other. And anytime we have something over itself, right, one over one equals one, two over two equals one, so on and so on. One foot and 12 inches are the same thing, just like two equals two. So all we're doing is creating these conversion factors. So let's try an example, very simple one with feet and inches. Let's say we have three feet and we want to convert that into inches. So we set up our three feet and I think when you first start it really helps to make this little grid or this cross that we make here. And then we put in our conversion factor. Our conversion factor from our equality is one foot equals 12 inches. Now do we put the 12 inches on top or the one foot on top? The easiest way to do it is we want to put what we would get rid of in the opposite corner. So we're trying to get rid of feet. So we're going to put feet down here. That means we're going to put inches on the top because those are the two things we have. And then you just write in the numbers. There were 12 and 1. And now you can solve. You can see the feet cancel off and we multiply through. So always check your units first. The feet canceled off and we end up in inches, which is what we wanted. So we must have set it up correctly. And now just 3 times 12 is equal to 36. 1 times 1 is just 1, and so we have 3 feet is now equal to 36 inches. And that's kind of all there is to it. You just got to find your equality, where you're going from, where you're going to. Now sometimes maybe it's more than one step. Maybe we have, um, we want to convert miles. Okay, so we have 3 miles, and we want to convert that into inches. How many inches are in 3 miles? Well, if we look at our thing here, we know that in one mile, there's 5,280 feet. In one mile, 5,280 feet. So that's great, but we're going for inches. We need one more equality. We're going to use the same one we just had up here, that one foot equals 12 inches. And now when we do this, it's just in multiple steps. So we're going to say that we have three miles. Okay, so we're going to look over here miles and feet, so we're going to put the miles in the bottom, we're going to put the feet in the top so the miles go away. Then we just write in our numbers, 5,280, and then over here we have one mile. But now we're not done because we ended up with feet. We didn't want feet, we wanted inches. So we're going to put another one. So now we're trying to get rid of feet. So we're going to take our next equality and put feet in the bottom so they go away. That means inches goes in the top, and they're 12 inches in that one foot. And now from here, we would have to kind of need my calculator for this one. I can't do all that one in my head. And so if we look at our calculator, we have 5,280 times the 3 times the 12. So that's the top. We have 190,080. 190,080. Then on the bottom, it's all just 1s. And what did we end up with? All we have left over is inches, which is what we wanted. Bing, bang, boom. All is good. Okay. It works the same as if you're going from uh, meters to feet. Let's say we wanted to go, we have three meters, and we want to know how many feet that is. Okay, So we look at our equalities again. So we're going from metric to English. One meter is 3.28 feet. One meter is 3.28 feet. So we start here. We have three meters. We're going to put meters in the bottom. It means feet go in the top. This is 3.28. This is 1. The meters cancel. Feet is all we have left over. 3 times 3.28. What is that? I don't know that one off the top of the head. That's going to be uh, 4. 
9.74 feet. Okay, you can do the same thing if you're doing metric. Sometimes metric, they give us these prefixes, right? They want to know um, these prefixes down here. They have things, so instead of saying it's, you know, 0 0.00 grams or something, they're going to put it in milligrams or centigrams or centimeters or mega you know, grams or kilograms or whatever it might be that we're talking about. Okay, so we just have to convert. So here, that conversion is very easy. We're just using our uh, powers and our scientific notation. Okay, so if we have 2,000 um, millimeters and we want to convert that to meters, well, milli means how many millis, right? So milli is 0 0.001 or 10 to the negative 3. Okay, so 1 meter equals, I'm sorry, 1 millimeter is equal to 0 0.001 meters. Okay, because that's what that milli means, which is equal to 10 to the negative 3 meters. So it doesn't matter which one of those things you use. And now we're doing the same thing. So if we have 2,000 millimeters, again, now we have this equality. So one millimeter on the bottom, 0 0.001 meters. We multiply that through 2,000 times 0 0.001. Basically, just moving our decimal three places, right? And we have two. The millimeters go away. And the leftover is we have meters. So it's the same thing. So a lot of times with metric, we don't have to do this. Metric is easier because it's all base 10. And so you can see we're just moving our decimal these three places. So it's just like scientific notation, where you're just moving your decimal back and forth. And really, that's all there is to it.